I'll start by going back to uh, H. E. Marshal uh, Krishna Swami. H. E. Marshal Krishna Swami, you saw the confidence with which Sanjay Jha said that. Don't you know the amount of money that we have allocated to defence budgets? Almost as if suggesting that we, the people of India, should be grateful that the Congress Party, from its own coffers, which it's not clearly, right, from the taxpayers' money, has allocated money for uh, for uh, the defence budget. If this is the case, Mr. Air Chief Krishna Swami, could you please uh, tell us, and maybe more Sanjay Jha more than me, why it is that the Indian Air Force, which you have led, had to sound a red alert over rapidly dwindling fighter squadrons? Why is it that the Indian Air Force had just 34 fighter squadrons when it was authorized 42 fighter squadrons? If so much money is being given in such an act of generosity by the UPA government, which we should be grateful for, why is this the situation, for example, with the Air Force, Air Chief? Now, Arnab, you can avoid well, this I sarcasm. Like to make a, discussing a few comments. No, there is no sarcasm okay. there. I'm I asking him to... I spare your viewers your I am sardonic asking, observations. No, was it... I, I think treat the issue with the gravity it deserves. So, so, no, no, you Ms. asked for the defense Ms. minister's Ms. resignation yesterday. Yes, I can did. Can you, one minute, can you for showing the news our, visit, news our viewers a fake and fraudulent sea voter poll, are you willing to resign as the editor now, of Times now? Now, Mr. Now? Now, Mr. For God's sake, let's not try Mr. to trivialize the discussions here. Now, now, Mr. Ja, there are... We have to take the issues with some degree of gravitas. Yeah. Mr. Jha, I know that, and by the way, I'll tell you one thing, Mr. Jha. I know it must be extremely difficult for you to listen to what I will tell you now. I know, Mr. Jha, that it must be very difficult for you to see Go stories ahead. on Times now about how your Prime Minister says nothing uh, when you have a UPA appointment scam. I'm sure it's very difficult for you to talk about the medical scam as well. And I'm you sure it is. I am sure, Mr. Jha. Scam, but it is I am not. sure. I am sure, Mr. Jha. Mr. Jha, please have the patience to listen, right? No, no. You are just now, adding us. Mr. Mr. Jha, you know, it's like water off a duck's you, back. But it is not appropriate. It's it's, it's like water off a duck's back. Now you can you can listen to this, Mr. Jha. Please understand this, right? Now, as far as the surveys are concerned, uh, the news channel concerned was asked a question, and it said we have absolutely nothing to prove that any survey which has been done on any channel right already which has been done and shown and published or telecast can be questioned now that was a very firm position taken by the news channel i can completely understand and empathize with you mr jha your nervousness or worry about all the polls right which have shown certain difficult no, no, position which the congress party culpable. is in but no, tonight no, minute, mr jha i would tomorrow, request you one minute, one i would minute, i would request you to let us come back to the subject i would i would i would request you to come back to the subject i would request you to come back to the very important subject well. and people have died this week mr jha and the others people have given this ultimate sacrifice not to hear you mr sanjay jha no mr jha you know you know you know mr jha it is it is very important for you to for you to for you you, know, you got a very can digest the facts without getting minister. worried about Let us it. Respect him for what he's yeah, doing. So, Mr. Uh, and I'm willing so we'll, to accept we'll, the criticisms. Uh, so we are willing to take the feedback. Yeah, so, but let us not start you so, know, asking so, for people's so heads Mr. every night. I mean, that's so, Mr. Sanjay Jha, you know, I'll tell you, I will, I will repeat, does. I will repeat this point to you very clearly and listen to me. And you know, by the way, let's get uh, Chief Krishna Swami and you can, for a change, this evening, Sanjay show a little bit of grace in making people listen to you. You know, one of the problems sometimes, Sanjay Jha, of politicians and political party spokespersons is that they can very often get the feeling that they are doing the people of this country a favor by uh, replying to the questions that are put by the media. No, now, now, Mr. Jha, I request you, therefore, no, you're that I am, I am saying this an tonight as an independent my journalist. My party's I am viewpoint. saying this as an That's independent it. journalist, That's not it. a journalist authorized by the Congress party, right? because I don't have to take a license from the Congress party, that it is a fact that we have 34 fighter squadrons when we should have 42, right? And in fact, Mr. Jha, you would, if you only knew your facts better, you would also know that the Indian Air Force has been forced to fly MiG-21s and MiG-27s till 2025 because the government has very long delayed the retirement of its aging MiG-21s and MiG-27s. People die in these flying coffins, Mr. Jha. So please show some seriousness, and I don't think I'm being patronizing to you at all. I'm sharing some facts. They will be uncomfortable, but it is time we listen to them. I repeat well, my question to well, Chief Krishna Swami, that if there are such you, large defense budgets, defense and I, I, I would, I would request you to show the grace that. to let Chief Krishna Swami respond, Mr. Jha, right? 
place. So the question is very important. It's very okay, important, I, I'd and like and, and, say, uh, and 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 uh, I must also uh, say tonight that if I open the phone lines and ask people those questions about what they feel about the way in which political parties who do nothing for the forces suddenly want to own them before the elections, you'll be shocked at the response. Why is it in this situation, Chief Krishna Swami, that if so much money was given, why is the condition of our forces so worrisome? Well, let me just uh, 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 come, uh, say a few important issues here that, that we are talking about. The, uh, I would like to uh, disconnect uh, politics from governance. Now, the services are managed right. through the government. It doesn't matter which political party. It is, it's a matter of governance. Right. It's very interesting that Colonel said that the governance is so weak that it is now the military guys or former military guys have to come into politics to show how to govern as though the current government or the past governments or the governments have been totally incapable of governing. Mm. I, I won't go by that. And I don't believe that military guys, you come into one day into politic, politics and you can govern anything better. But I'm sorry, now, that's not the situation on... Uh, let me just... Not let me complete. Away from it. Okay, so let me just complete it. it. Pardon You're me, so just let me it. complete it. Sir, I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. Okay, so but let's away. let's not let you us not intervene. You don't have to agree with me. Okay, so you don't, you don't agree. You, so you I don't agree. That's fine. It doesn't matter. matter. No, you I've don't agree. You don't have to agree. You don't have to agree. No, it's fine. I've got a lot of respect for you. Okay, I respect you. We know each other. We know each other very well. I'm sorry. Colonel, Colonel, call. It's people like you. Let's let's not. Sir, sir, my my apologies. My apologies. My apologies. You are playing into the politician's hands. How is that? Why this a political business? After retirement, there is no such thing. Okay. During service, I have kept my mouth shut. It is I, agree, I agree. I agree. I agree. Colonel Call. I agree. Call. I agree. Because I agree. I feel Colonel that Call. these people do not have the capability. Colonel Call. Uh, on on military. Yeah, we, military. We, we, why, heard you, you accepted. I will I, not. I heard you. Now let now let now let the see, thank you. Let, let the have, chief. Sorry for interrupting. Have, it's a it's a very have, important subject, have, uh, chief. We have we have former we have a former general who is uh, who is functioned as the chief minister of Himachal Pradesh so very well, and we have uh, uh, we have a former uh, the military Ranjal, Mr. Jaswant Singh. Ranjal. He has run as a he has run all the all the uh, senior positions, and uh, it, it's not that. So therefore, it so is, why there is the a certain laxity in governance. Why can't the new which, generation? Which, your generation sure, sure. Power. Why not? Why I I. I am not against anyone yes, coming into politics, saying, but I leave the politics. The situation uh, is that we need to step in. Sir, we need to step uh, in. Uh, to Colonel step Call, in Colonel let Call, let, uh, let the let let H. Chief Krishna Swami have a perspective. Are two different uh, I don't think you're being fair now. You know, he he That's has a perspective point. different from yours. But he has a right to have it and I wanted a very Before serious it, answer to the question that if all the political parties of India care so much for our forces, all of them including the BJP and the Congress and all these parties, I, then I why must, are our forces I, in such a state in terms of the infrastructure? Please complete, sir. We, we, the reason that needs to be we, are, we are a democracy. We, 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 we are a... We, could, could I speak? Go May ahead. I? Go ahead. Go right, right ahead. Well, first, firstly, firstly, we are a democracy and we, whether we are military uniform or otherwise, we all vote we have freedom to vote, we all must vote. And I think the general brought out here that all, all defense services personnel must vote. Why not? That is our, that is our, that, that's our right. Now, that is, that is voting a pol political party into power, whosoever we feel, uh, individual feels appropriate. The other part of it is any retired person wants to join politics is most welcome. Why not? He stands for election, he stands with the party and he gets, he wins it or not, that's fine. There are large, there are significant number of ex-service men in, the mil, in, in politics. As I said, we have an excellent general who ran uh, Himachal Pradesh as chief minister. Sure, uh, chief, but, uh, we have, but it doesn't uh, do away with... Late, late, late Rajesh Pilot and so but, on. But it doesn't... No, I, the, I, the point I, uh, here comes is, I, is about... Uh, 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 Krishna Swami, I actually don't think it's going to be, you know, going to help in any way. 
you know, you can get generals and air marshals and admirals to join the forces, but how does it help the serving forces, Siddharth Nath Singh? <coughs> How does it help Not the state all. of our defense they, that, that's infrastructure? That's what I'm coming to say. Uh, there is no, 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 the, no, 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 no. The point is, the question is, the question is using the, the question is, uh, chief. One second. The question is using these generals and marshals Can and I? admirals as mascots. That's all. Even Siddharth will admit I'm sorry. there is a certain I'm amount sorry. of unnecessary Orna, symbolism. Orna, 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 Tomorrow, I admit. Yes, I yes, Siddharth. I will not admit to anything. Can I ever say this matter? No, I will not please. admit that we are use, using them as mascot, but yes, yes, the armed forces people, retired people, for their long service to the nation and their patriot core, core to the patriotism, yes, they have a high credibility in the Indian society or the civil society once they are retired. Now the issue is, so we don't, you, we so we don't even have a, we don't even have a, we don't even have a national war memorial. To, we can force them we, to join. We don't even have a national party. war memorial. You can go and woo ex-servicemen on the eve I of an think, election. Uh, well, we don't honor, have a national yes, post-independence yes. monument to no, honor the martyrs the, who move. lost their lives in war since honor, 1947. Honor, you are absolutely, absolutely out of track today. We don't woo pull, uh, uh, armed service people. They are capable of taking their own decision. And when they come in touch with us, they are always welcome like any adi, anybody I, I, else I, I, is I'm welcome. I'm so sorry. But yes, I, I am, they are Siddharth. Siddharth, they, they always, Siddharth, you, they always Siddharth, today, hold nationalism. Today, today, please, today on the eve of the election, when the government pushes for one rank, one pension, Narendra Modi says, that it is a political line. So it's not me. It is even Narendra Modi who indirectly says that the Congress Absolutely. party is trying to woo, trying no. to woo ex-servicemen. No. Yes, Sanjay Cha. Uh, I have a point no, here. No, no, no. Well, one no, bank, one, one second. Second. Sanjay Cha, please. Sanjay Cha, I'm rebutting you. Sanjay Cha. Because, because in 2010, 2010, 2013, Sanjay Cha is rebutting you, Sanjay. But they could not push it. But a week before, the before yeah, one of the he can rebut that later, I have for but one, not one week before the vote on account, the one minute, Rahul Siddharth, Gandhi says, and the Siddharth, government takes an action, and they only allocate 500 crores. Anyway, that is the issue. When it's when not about money, Siddharth, 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 it's, Siddharth, it's not about the money. It's about the attitude. It's, it's not about the money, Sanjay. We have limited time. Let Sanjay Jha respond to you. It's not about the money. It's about it's about the attitude. The same attitude with which. The okay. same attitude with which today, when Field Marshal Sam Manekshaw died in July 2008, not a single senior minister attended his funeral. That's the respect that is shown to the forces, Sanjay Jhar. Uh, How do you uh, respond to that? The point. Well, let me tell you that the armed forces in India deserve to be given the highest respect. I don't think that's an issue on which any negotiation can be done at all. If any political party or government has not done it to the appropriate level, well, it, a rectification is d desired with immediate effect. I don't think that's an issue on which I, well, anybody Mr. will Chas, have sorry a to interrupt. I want what to make a point here to Siddharth Nath Singh. I want to make a what point here to Siddharth Nath Singh. Just a minute, soldiers? I thought... I thought I was not to be interrupted. I thought I was not to be interrupted, please. I thought I was not to be interrupted, please. The no, Prime Ministerial be, designate of the BJP also. makes a statement, makes a statement that it is these traders who are able to take bigger risks than soldiers in the army. And I think that is the most reprehensible statement that can ever happen from a senior leader of any political party. And when, I would like Siddharth Nasir please, to Mr. acknowledge ja, that Mr. that was ja, either please, a terrible please, lapse of judgment send me a copy or a lack of, that of vision. Statement. And, and please let send me, me a tell copy you something, of that statement. it was a shameful statement on the part of Narendra Modi. Or your that vision is has brought that this country to dumps. That is the attitude Mr. you have ja, as a political party. We, That's we why you see you politics in one rank, one pension, but in fact it is nothing but a long-standing issue that your vision with high inflation, the soldiers being beheaded, the, the uh, China walking into well, India. You know, at least you, you can apologize on behalf of Mr. Modi and your party. Well, I, Siddharth Nath Singh, you, you have a platform Mr. today Andrew to apologize to on behalf of Mr. Modi and your well, you know, party. Gentlemen, that is what your vision is, Mr. Jha. Gentlemen, I, I find one thing that very interesting. That is the vision you carry. I am so you, sorry. All, all political parties. All political parties. Arna, what is going on? No, Kamal Vitra Chira, that's what's going on. All political parties, including yours, are so aggressively trying to suddenly in pre-election eve, Mr. Chenoy, uh, Mr. Chenoy, become the spokespersons, the custodians, and, and you no, know... No, no, hold it, hold it. Of, we of, are not... 
Arnab, we are not only talking about elections. I would like to talk about their service conditions. Why don't we discuss that? That's a serious matter. I Why do they need an uh, army sir, a person in the pay commission? Because otherwise they're not heard. Let's discuss this. I agree with you. Why, are they, why do they retire so early? Because there are no posts. I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. And which is why I think what we'll do is because I have to end this debate. Uh, the question uh, is, Mr. Chinoy, the question is, it's so transparent. Take, take you back it is so transparent before. when political parties wake yeah, up to the interests of forces on the eve of an election. Everyone will see through it. This country needs the politicians to look, take care of the forces. 24-7, not discover them before an election. Gentlemen, I thank you for joining me on debate number two. Thank you.